thank God, some football news, some football content. It, 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 it's our passion. I, dude, I got to ask, man, how hyped do you that this schedule came out, bro? I was ready for it, dude. And I'll say this. The NFL did not let us down with this, these week one matchups in no way, shape, or form. No shot, bro. First game off rip. You got the Cowboys going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers coming off a, a Super Bowl victory against the Chiefs last year, and then they're going up against one of the – probably one of the most – Weird teams in the NFL simply just because the Cowboys, they always have a lot of hype around them, but they never really ever, they never live up to expectations. But it will be Dak's first game back after sustaining that gruesome uh, leg injury against the Giants last season. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how Dak responds to a significant injury like that. I do think the Bucs are going to win, but we'll see what happens when we get closer to that date. Just some other games to kind of focus or to note here, kind of circle. <laughs> Look, the, these are these are one o'clock games, but we got some good games here. We got the Seahawks going up against the Colts. I know you are probably just eager to watch that game, especially since it's the first game of the year. And then to round up the one o'clock games, you got the Steelers going up against the Bills. The Steelers, up until like the last two three weeks of the season, they were the number one team in the AFC, and then they just completely forgot how to play football the last like three weeks of the season and got bounced out of the playoffs pretty early last year. But the Bills are definitely that up and coming team in the AFC right now. They're the best team in the AFC East. And it'll be interesting to see if the Bills can sustain their success that they had last year by making it all the way to the AFC championship game and see if they can, if see if they can replicate the similar amount of success that they had last season. And then moving on to the the four o'clock games, and just looking at what we got here, we got some great games. We got the Browns versus the Chiefs. That's going to be rematch. a great rematch from the AFC divisional round matchup that they had last season. You got the Patriots going up against the Dolphins. Look, both of those teams. What a head to head right there, bro. Both of those teams are going to be running and gunning for the top of the AFC East this year. The Patriots have completely retooled their team. To build around Cam Newton, the defense is looking strong. They had a great free agency. Uh, they had a great free agency this offseason, and then they backed it up with some decent draft picks as well. So that'll definitely be a good matchup, just a good matchup between Bill Belichick and one of his former Jeez. coaches in Brian Flores. So that'll definitely be a good game to watch. And then, and then one of the last games that I got here is the Packers versus the Saints. And it'll be very interesting to see who's going to be starting at the quarterback position for this game. I'm pretty sure when you look at the Saints, it's going to be Jameis Winston. But with the Packers and really the drama that's surrounding Aaron Rodgers, I, I know Kevin and I will get into that a little bit later. But it's going to be a very interesting matchup to see who's going to be the go-to guy for the quarterback spot with the Packers. And – just looking at the rest of the rest of these games, I mean, for week one, going into the 2021 season, this is a hell of a start. This is a good slate. This is a good slate. And, and, yeah. and let's not forget, I mean, we got Sam Darnold facing the Jets week one after being traded. Like, he's literally going to go up against his replacement in Zach Wilson instantly. Bro, we're talking like. Sam Darnold gets traded. They draft Zach Wilson, and then boom, it's immediate. It's an immediate matchup. I think that's incredible. I think obviously, you know, we all know Sam Darnold got a pretty much the shorthand of the stick, being drafted by Adam Gase and the career that he ended up having, and then you know getting traded to Carolina, uh, relatively early in the off season, if not like kind of like within the off season perspective. It's just. I don't know. I think, I, I think that's a game for me that I want to watch. I want to see how Sam produces with Matt Rule and the, and the coaching staff over there in Carolina. I want to see if Robert Sala can kind of turn the, the, the ship around in New York and and right the passage, so to speak, and see if Zach Wilson can turn it around. I think that'll be a very personal game for Sam. Um, like Kyle said, Cowboys Bucks week one. We all know the Cowboys offense when healthy is absolutely incredible, but we all know that the Buccaneers defense based off of them re-signing pretty much everybody from their Super Bowl roster, them shutting down the NFL's best offense in Kansas City in the Super Bowl, and it's just like 
will Dak be able to come back healthy and lead the Cowboys into a fucking incredible week one upset against the Super Bowl champions? Can the Buccaneers recreate the success that they had last year on their path to repeating as champions? You really couldn't ask for a better matchup there, honestly, for the first game of the season. Obviously, as a Colts fan, you got Russell Wilson coming in, Lucas Oil, uh, brand new fucking whole new system coming up out of Indianapolis with Carson Wentz. Obviously, the defense being revamped with a lot of the draft picks that we had and so on and so forth. Super, super amped up for that. Uh, Trevor Lawrence versus maybe Deshaun Watson, depending how all of these lawsuits end up panning out. And I mean, like like Kyle said, man, you got Ben Roethlisberger, Josh Allen, you know, Najee Harris, Devin Singleton, and just the, the overall defensive presence of both teams going at it. I think that's probably going to be the game of the hour over there. And then at four o'clock, like Kyle said, you got the Chiefs and Browns rematch divisionally. I think that the Patriots and the Dolphins are going to kind of like round out that game just because both teams ended up being in better positions than we both thought. The Patriots ended up slacking early on in the season. They ended up coming back at seven and nine. The Dolphins ended up kind of showing out and going 10 and six in the season. So, I mean, I think that that's going to be a very good introduction to the AFC East because it is going to be a lot more competitive than people think. And of course, Packers and Saints, Aaron Rodgers, will he be there? Will he retire? Will they trade him in New Orleans? It's not a guarantee it's going to be Jameis. Will Taysom Hill take the reign? Will it be another competition? Will Sean Payton split the touches between the both of them to have an open competition for the season? Who the fuck knows? I think that's a game I circle mainly because of we don't know the starters for that game. And that's just weird to say that we don't know who's going to start for the Packers, especially since Aaron Rodgers has been there for well over a decade. So – 